Hi, I'm Alice Miller. Welcome to Goucher College Graduate and Professional Studies Online Learning Overview. I'm going to show you how to navigate in Canvas in your new online course site. If you go to any browser and type in canvas.goucher, that's C-A-N-V-A-S dot G-O-U-C-H-E-R, and click search, you will come to where it says sign in Goucher College. And this is the official link that you click on to sign into your online course site. The first thing you'll see is your login box. And by email, you should have received your username and password. And my username is almil 1 at goucher.edu. And yours will look like that. You'll have a specific username that includes the first two letters of your first name, the next uh, three letters are the first three letters of your last name, and then you'll have some numbers, and then it'll have the email address at goucher.edu. That will be your login username. And you'll also receive a password. Make sure you type the password in and be aware of the fact that you need to do upper and lower case the, exactly the way it's sent to you. And then you just come over here and click the login button. Once you log into Canvas, you'll see on the left side a series of links. In the middle, you'll see some cards. These, I, some people call them cards and some people call them tiles. You'll have a separate tile for each course that you're enrolled in. And then on the right, you'll see a to-do list. And some people use this column and some don't. I'm going to show you the easy way to get started. You want to click on the dashboard link. If it doesn't already open to the dashboard link, click on the dashboard link on the left. And then click on the course tile that you'd like to open. And I'm going to open my sample course site. In this sample course site, all of the meat of the program is in the middle panel here and you'll see uh, different types of links to go to each item. And basically what you want to do is start at the top, click on the link, and work through the program. Now what I'd like to do is to put this into the student view. This is the instructor's view. I'm going to click on settings, and of course you will not be able to do this, but I'm doing this just to show you the student view. This is what students will see exactly when they come into their Canvas course site. So the instructor has editing tools. You will not have editing tools. But what you will see is every link that you're supposed to click on. And the way most instructors would like you to proceed is to start with the first item, click on it, and then, as I said, work through each item in order. So I'm going to click on the first one. It says Welcome Video. And you'll see here's a welcome video from this instructor, and you want to listen to the whole thing. And then you'll also notice that at the bottom, you'll see a Next button. So when you're finished watching this video, click the Next button, and you'll go to the next item in line. Now, this is a syllabus template, but in your actual course, you'll see your real syllabus. And then come to the bottom and click the Next button. Once you go past the first item, you have a Next button and you have a Previous button. So you could go back to that Welcome video if you wanted to. I'm just going to click the Next button. And the next thing that's in my list of things to look at is a schedule. This is a sample template, a schedule that an instructor would use. I'm going to come down and click the Next button. The next thing that this instructor wants me to look at is tutorials. And they, this is a list of directions for how to find tutorials. I'm going to show you an easy way also to find that. But if you notice, I'm just coming down and I'm clicking either Next or Previous to work through the program. So I'm going to click the Next button. Here are student resources that are available to me. And some other information that the instructor wants me to have. I'm going to click the Next button when I'm ready. Here's a, a little bio, a faculty bio from this instructor, and you can read through that. I'm going to click the Next button. 
Now, here's, uh, here are some directions for a discussion. And you want to read through the, the directions. And this is a getting to know you activity where the instructor wants you to tell about your major career and academic achievements and then describe your favorite hobby in five words or less. So read through the discussion. Come down and click the reply button and then you can give a reply to that instructor's question. Okay, now if you ever get lost in your Canvas course site, you can always come up to the top of the page here and click on the course title. Now this is my sample course. Your course title will give your course actual title of your program, of your, your the course that you're enrolled in. So click on your course title and it takes you back to that main page where you can see these are the items that we were just working through. So we looked at the welcome video, we looked at the syllabus, the schedule, student tutorials and resources, we looked at the faculty bio, and we went to a discussion. And that is everything that's in the first welcome section. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see now the instructor wants me to go to week one and work through those items. So basically you click on the first one and once you do that you'll see that you get the the next button and the previous button. So in this on this page the instructor has a folder with a bunch of handouts in it that she wants me to see. So I can click on each one of these links and open them up. There's a PowerPoint, there are rubrics, directions, tutorials, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to click the next button. Here's, a, here's another video that the instructor wants me to look at. So I would watch this video and you can see here are the controls at the bottom, the play button. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to click the next button. Here's a page of activities, some things that the instructor wants me to read about historical perspectives. There's a video here. I would click on the video. There are links here. Here's a link to a rubric. And then when I'm finished, I come down to the bottom and I click the next button. Here's an article. Now, sometimes when you click on the next button, you'll see this big blank space. Well, the link is right here. You come up and click on the link. And that's how you open up that page. Here's an article from CNN that the instructor wants me to look at about inventions. Uh, it's being a little temperamental, but basically that's what that is. And then when you're finished, you'll see here's the article about inventions set to change the world. When you're finished, you'll see it's a new tab. So you come up and click on the tab to go back to your course site. So when you come to an article, you have to click on the link. And then when you're finished, you come up and click on the tab to go back to the course site. So now I'm back in the course site. I can scroll down and see here's my next button. So I'm going to click on the next button and go to the next item. And it's a content page. Maybe an Im you never know what's going to be on a content page. It could be an image. It could be here's a wiki assignment directions. Uh, here are two other documents the instructor wants you to look at. And then when you're finished, you come to the next button. Now, if you want to go back, remember you've got that previous button. You can go back to that article if you want. Or just come and click the next button. And I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to click the next button until I get to the end. Now, the next item the instructor has in the course is to submit a paper. If you ever have a paper to submit, you'll get one of these assignment drop boxes. And you just click on this button that says Submit Assignment. And I'm going to scroll down here so you can see. You'll see a Choose File button. Of course, you want to follow the directions. If your instructor gives you specific directions, they'll be right here. And you follow those directions. But generally, you'll have a Choose File button where you can go to your computer. And this comes right to your computer files. And you can go to a, a flash drive or wherever you have your files on your computer and then you can pick an item that you want to upload to that assignment. So let me go back one step. 
Here you are in the assignment drop box. You click where it says submit assignment and then choose file. And then when you choose a file, let's let me just pick anything out of here. Here's a um, a Word document and I can double click on it. And you can see next to the choose file button, I'll now see the, the title of the document that I'm uploading. And then you just click where it says submit assignment. And so now it says it's turned in. So you get a little success check mark. And if you want to resubmit the assignment, you can resubmit the assignment by clicking on this resubmit assignment button. But basically that's a very easy way to upload a paper to a Dropbox. And then when you're ready, you go back to the next button. And now there's a, a discussion at the end of this session. So remember, when I'm in a Canvas course site, if I ever get lost or ever want to review where I've been, I come back up here to this, uh, they call this a breadcrumb trail at the top of the page, and this shows everything that you've clicked on, and you can go back and click on the course title, and now you're right back on the main page. So, so far what we've done is we've logged into Canvas, we went through everything every item that's in the welcome box. Scroll down, we went through everything that's in week one. We actually submitted a paper and we went to the discussion at the end of that session. And you'll go as far as your instructor wants you to go in the course. Now let me show you where you can find some help. Remember if you get lost you can come up and click on your course title. But in this far left column, you'll see there's a help button. And if you click on that help button, the very first thing you'll see that uh, is a link that says training and support for Goucher users. So you can click on that. And you'll see links, frequently asked questions. There are videos that you can look at. Um, there's the student guide. If you click on the student guide, you'll see a link for everything that you are interested in. So if you want to learn about discussions, you can click on the discussion link and then there are questions. Maybe the answer to your question is in this list. How do I view discussions as a student? How do I view the rubric? And so on. So there, this is a very handy guide right here for any question that you may have. How do I view an assignment as a student? How do I add images? How do I submit an online assignment? Okay, so the, having, having access to that student guide is really great. So let, let me go back a step and, and review how we got here. We're going to go back to the dashboard. On the left here, you'll click on dashboard. You click on your course tile to open a course site. You click on the links in the middle of the page to work through each section. And then if you need help, you come over here on the far left in this blue banner and you click on the help button. And the first item says training and support for Goucher users and that's where you'll find that user guide. You can also um, come down here and you can chat with Canvas support. Here it is for students. You can, uh, there's a, a hotline for students. You can report a problem. And again, you can search the Canvas guides. And all of this is found right here on this little help button. When you come in, you're getting started by clicking on your dashboard and then clicking on a tile. I also want to show you here on the left, if you click on your account, there are two items here I want you to look at. One is settings and one is notifications. Let's look at settings. And on the right here in the settings link, you can add a new email address if you like. So uh, Canvas is set up to go with your Goucher email. If you would like to add an, a, a second email address, you can click on that and add a second email address. And then you'll see this little star here. Once you have your new email address uploaded, if you click on the right, 
you can move this little star down next to your new email address. So you can add an email address. Let's go back to the left. Remember we're in the settings section. Let's go back up now to where it says notifications. You have notification preferences. So in Canvas, you are going to direct Canvas. Uh, you want Canvas to know how you want to be notified. So on the right, you'll see by email, you have to tell it, a ch if you click on the check mark, that means notify me right away. Or the second option is to send daily summary. The third option is to send weekly summary. And then you have a fourth option, do not send me anything. So you have these four options at the top and you have a little symbol in front of each one. But the check mark means notify me right away. So you want to scroll down and make sure that where it says announcements, you have it checked, notify you right away. So if the instructor sends an announcement inside the course, you want to get that email. You want to be notified for grading. That's a good one. If you get an invitation to an activity, let's scroll down. You definitely want to know about, um, let's see, what else was I wanted to show you? Conversations, uh, this is what they call email in Canvas. They call it conversations. So make sure you have that check mark checked. If you're added to an email, you'll, get, you'll be notified right away. Okay. So notification preferences. You click on account in the left column. You click on notifications and then you make sure you put the check mark where you want to be notified right away for each item. Also in the account section you have settings and that's where you would add a new email and that's on the right here. So when you get further along in the program you'll have an ePortfolio and you'll, you'll click on this link here that says Goucher ePortfolios. Not the one that says just ePortfolios by itself, but Goucher ePortfolios. And you'll click on that to go to your ePortfolio. For everything else, you just come into your course site, click on Dashboard, click on a course tile, and then once you go inside a course, you can always click on the course title to come back to this main page and work through each item. And that's how you work through a Canvas course site.